for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shots. Snow with the Mad Cheese, as always. Got some more player ratings for you guys. Today is running backs. I think fullbacks will probably be in here, too. I'm going to go over both. I'm also going to go over some of the highest-rated rookies and show you guys some of the fastest players that are available uh, when this game comes out. If you guys want to see more of these type of videos, I'm doing them all week as they drop. Hit the like button, let me know in the comments section. Other than that, let's go and get right into the video. Now, number one is Derrick Henry. I have no complaints about Derrick Henry being number one. I think he earned it at this point. He is the most dominant running back in the league. And even last year before he got hurt, he was way ahead of the field when it came to uh, you know rushing yards and pretty much every single stat. So, no real argument there. I know number two is probably going to get a lot of arguments. Christian McCaffrey has been mostly hurt and mostly ineffective uh, for the Carolina Panthers. There was even rumors that they were going to trade him. Uh, he still comes in at number two ahead of Nick Chubb. I don't really agree with that, but I do know that Christian McCaffrey, when it comes to his receiving stats, makes him uh, a much better overall because he probably is the best receiving running back in the game aside from maybe Alvin Kamara. Uh, at the end of the day, though, Nick Chubb in my opinion, should probably be number two, or even Jonathan Taylor. Now, I think there's no doubt that Jonathan Taylor is probably the second best running back in the league behind King Henry and has a chance to maybe surpass him with this upcoming season. But at the end of the day, and I've said this in every video I've done, uh, players, you know, they, they slowly move players up based off of consistency. This isn't based off of just one year. So for him to be a 95, that's actually a really great accomplishment for Jonathan Taylor to be a 95 this quick after just two years in the, in the league, uh, which is pretty rare. So definitely... A good rating on him but i would say in my ratings i'd probably have nick chubb second johnson taylor third and then christian mccaffrey dalvin cook joe mixon other than that the the order's fine alvin Kamara, though i still feel like he should be a little bit higher like i said if you're looking at overall stats he's right up there with christian mccaffrey as far as a receiving back uh, other than that joe mixon looked like he's got a little bit of a jump i don't remember him being that high as a 93 aaron jones coming in only at an 89 is a bit surprising uh considering he's been such a great player but he's also been splitting time so it's almost like he's lost it a bit based off of the timeshare that he's found himself in in Green Bay rather than his actual play. Still has some monster games. He just doesn't get the ball as much. Austin Eckler, another guy, uh, you know, great receiving back. Um, you know, some very good backs here. This is the top 10 backs. This is the first page. The last one I have an issue with, and I had an issue with it last year, Ezekiel Elliott being number 10. Uh, it's got to be off of name recognition at this point. He's not even the best running back on his team. I mean, most most Dallas Cowboy fans, if they had their way, his backup Tony Pollard is definitely a better player on that team. I mean, if, if Ezekiel Elliott wasn't making all that money he was making, he probably wouldn't be getting as many snaps. I think Tony Pollard would probably be starting. But at the end of the day, I mean, most Dallas fans that watch the games would say and would agree with me that Ezekiel Elliott is not the player that he was and that Tony Pollard is actually uh, probably a better running back. So, you know, seeing him in the top 10, like I said, it's all based off of consistency, which I don't really understand. He still broke 1,000 yards last year. But at the end of the day, I don't think he really deserves uh, to be that highly rated, especially as an 88 overall. Moving on to the next 10, I don't know who necessarily would knock Ezekiel Elliott out of that spot. Josh Jacobs, um, he didn't really have too great of a year last year. Leonard Fournette. I, I would definitely take Leonard Fournette over Ezekiel Elliott, but I don't think he really had the year to warrant being rated higher. Uh, Kareem Hunt's probably a better player, but he's a backup, and he, he gets a timeshare situation. Uh, Saquon Barkley, I think, is still too highly rated. I mean, the guy rarely ever plays. He's always hurt, and he just I just don't know if he has it anymore. Cordell Patterson had a great year last year. I think that's a fine rating, though. Najee Harris is a guy. I would definitely take Najee Harris over Ezekiel Elliott, but once again, he only had one year, so it doesn't surprise me that EA doesn't. I mean, that's a pretty good rating, up to an 85 for a guy off coming off of a pretty strong rookie year um so like i said none of these guys i can't really say any of these guys it's it's just a there's not a, a ton of great running backs in the league like there used to be like maybe back in like the 90s or the 2000s or something like that it's it's just not a running back league anymore so it doesn't surprise me that there's not necessarily um you know higher more highly rated guys next up i'll show you guys some of the rookie running backs Brees hall was i think the first rookie running back taken in the draft uh i mean uh, he's expected to be a starter right at the gate for the uh for the jets Guy's coming in at a 76 overall. 91 speed's pretty good. Uh, his carry is a 90, which is really impressive. He's also supposed to be a pretty good receiver, 70 catching. All these things look pretty good. So if you got the Jets, this should be your starter out the gate. Next up, we have the second running back taken. And this one was my personal favorite going into the draft. Kenneth Walker from uh, from Seattle. This guy here is rocking a 93 speed with a 94 acceleration. That's one of the fastest running backs in the game. I think the fastest is only two points higher. on The, the highest acceleration for any running back in the game is a 95. So this guy 
guy really has it all when it comes to that. So it's got an 89 carry. Uh, this, to me, is the best running back in the draft. I, I mean, I don't know if he's the most well-rounded. Brees uh, might be a little bit better of a receiving back, as you can see right here. His catching stats are higher. But Kenneth Walker, to me, is definitely one of the guys I'm most excited to use, especially in Seattle where they have so many great offensive weapons. They just need a quarterback. I mean, they have a really good offensive weaponry around whatever quarterback they put out there. Next up, we got James Cook. One of the bigger issues when it comes to playing with Buffalo is they really don't have a great running back. James Cook could be that guy. 92 speed, 93 acceleration. That all looks pretty good. Um, I think that he could easily be their best running back, especially in franchise mode. I When I played with him last year, I was always putting Matt Braid in there to get that 94, 95 speed on the field. Uh, but at the end of the day, he's gone. So James Cook's probably going to be the best guy. Devin Singletary's still there, but he's very average. So this is a guy that really could add a great element to that offense. So I'm going to go to my end of the video there. Pretty short one. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below.